But first, a former Nevada congressman whose term was marred by sexual harassment claims is taking another shot at running for office. Well, right now, the opposition to Ruben Kewen is mobilizing, and 13 Action News reporter Tom George now explains what supporters, but also what opponents are saying tonight about all of this. Tom. Yeah, Todd and Carla, it is all on this website here that's gaining a lot of attention. You can see right there some of the shocking text messages opponents want you to remember. They're plastered right there on the front of that website. My name is Ruben Kiwen and I represent the 4th Congressional District of Nevada. He was once considered a young rising star in Nevada politics. To supporters like Maria Teresa Lieberman, Ruben Kiwen was more than just a congressman, he was a role model. Coming up in Las Vegas as a young kid, young Latina growing up, seeing him go up the ranks, I admired him for many years, most of you know my life. But that admiration turned to disappointment after Kiwen was accused of sexual misconduct by women who worked with him. And after a congressional investigation backed up those allegations. From, you know, uh, hoping it wasn't true to absolutely disgusted. Kiwin refused to resign and didn't run for re-election to Congress, but now he's running for city council. And some former supporters are shocked. They feel he hasn't done enough to make amends, creating a website called NoMeansNoRuben.com. It highlights some of the worst texts from the congressional report, like, come sit on my lap, and what color are your panties? He understands that he has been denied according to him four million times and she continues to say no. They're also raising money to spread their message because they worry voters aren't as engaged as they would be in other elections and that Kiwin may try and fly under the radar. You know, it's low turnout. He has name recognition, has had it for a long time in the area because he's been around politics for a long time. But that's why, you know, this this work is important because we have to remind the voters of who is Ruben Kiwin and what did he do. But in the heart of Kiwin's east side districts, voters like Alfonso Landa are more forgiving. I think he's the third one, one more chance, you know. Landa voted for Kiwin before and will consider it again. He was doing a good job, so probably mm -hmm. he can probably he learn the lesson, you know. Mm -hmm. Another one of the website's biggest backers is Kiwin's fellow Democrat Assemblywoman Heidi Swank. She says the day after it launched, Kiwin bizarrely showed up at her neighborhood meeting, and when she told him he wasn't welcome, he came in anyway and worked the room, so she followed up telling people why, there why they shouldn't vote for him. Tom George, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas. All right, Tom, we'll see what will happen.